And so in this video, I'm going to give a tutorial of how uh, I would set up Todoist. And I've got a volunteer here. Uh, thank you, Anne Epley, for setting up a brand new Todoist account. And that way, um, I don't feel like I have to reveal my private tasks. Um, I could just be playing with a brand new account. And so what I'll probably have Anne do is to share her screen and then I can request remote control. And I have other participants here who might come up with questions in the chat that, um, that I'll bring forward. So everybody here, please go ahead and post your questions in real time. Even if you posted it in, in our Facebook group, you could you know, repost you know, at the shorthand of the question and then we'll, we'll go from there. So, um, hi, Anne. Hey, George. Yeah, thanks for, thanks for setting up the account. And sure. uh, when you're ready, go ahead and share your screen and I will request remote control and then we'll, we'll go from there. Okay. And looks like you've got your Todoist. Yeah. Up. Is that the one? Mm -hmm. Oh, good. Okay. All right. Nice, clean Todoist. Uh huh. Okay. All right. I, I'm uh -huh. like you. I was not going to share my current Todoist. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, now I, I think I can, I'm able to control your screen. Oops. On, oops. You might have to um, give permissions. Is that right? You have to. I did. Did it? Oh, you, I am controlling. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, good. So, um, I want to just first kind of give everyone a quick uh, overview of how Todoist works. And let me zoom in a little bit here. Okay. So Todoist is as simple or as complicated as you want it to be, right? You could literally just start an, a list of tasks, do this, um, do that, do this other thing. And then you've got a list of tasks and we are in the today folder. So that's why when we're in the today folder and we, we add tasks to the today folder, it all shows up for today's date. That's today's due date. Okay. So if I go into this task, um, and if I click on the, uh, the, the, the date, no, no, I'm sorry. That's the project. Um, sorry, the, the, the dates up here, it, you could see that the due date is today and I could, I could set the due date for tomorrow. And the nice thing about to do, one of the nice things about to do is, is there are short hands. So tomorrow is just TMR. Okay. And I press enter and it automatically knows it's August 30th. And I just press enter and I, I do this all day long, you know, TMR or next week or whatever. Uh, do that other thing. I'm going to do that other thing next week. It was like, yeah, next Thursday, next Thursday. It, it knows shortcuts. You know, it, it knows what T, you know, Thurs is Thursday. Weds is Wednesday. Fry is Friday. It's very smart. It like I'll have all, or you can type out the whole thing if you, if you like typing. So you can see that today is, we only have one thing left to do today because the other things have been put into, and we can click on the next seven days. This is all set up automatically for you. This is a brand new Todoist account and you, you already have all these things, okay? So you can see tomorrow I'm doing this and, uh, and uh, next, uh, oh, uh, next Friday. Oh, because, you know, I thought I was gonna do something next Friday. How do I find that thing? Well, the switch box is super useful. And by the way, I'm gonna do, um, I'm going to, uh, no, uh, I'm gonna try it, okay. I was going to try to do an annotation, but I can't seem to do that now. Okay, so um, I was going to do something next Friday. So can I see all my tasks for next Friday? Yes, you can. Guess what? You go into the quick find area and you type next Friday, next Friday, or next Friday, and press enter. And now, oh, I don't have any. When when did I do it? I did I did I say next Thursday or next Friday? I think next Thursday, right? Next Thursday. Ah, yes, next Thursday. I have one task. Do this other thing. So this, the search box is so smart. You could search words in the task like, oh, when was I going to do this thing? Okay, this. Press enter. Oh, yeah, this is all the results for tasks that have the word this in it, right? But you can also, like I said, search, what am I doing tomorrow? TMR or tomorrow. You could type out tomorrow. Ah, tomorrow, that's what I'm doing. So to do this is very intuitive once you realize that they've probably already thought about it. In the search box, you can search whatever you want. You could search projects, you could search tasks, you could search comments, you could search a particular date. What am I doing on September 6th, Sept 6th, Friday? I'm not doing anything on Friday, but now that I'm looking at Friday, I can add a task. And you could see the, the Friday uh, date is already there. 
um, do the super cool thing. Okay, press enter. All right. So that's, that's, but now if I come back to today, I'm only doing this one thing today, which is that, whatever that means. Um, okay, so uh, let's see if there are any questions thus far. Um, and by the way, if you have any questions in real time to what I've just said, please feel free to unmute. I just, you know, really, that, that'll make things faster. Um, okay, and, uh, and the other thing I'm about to do is that's really uh, important is what's called projects, okay? Projects are how you organize your long list of tasks into things like, okay, now this is gonna be marketing. Now this is gonna be um, administration. Now this is gonna be shopping list, right? So all these different things. So let's say uh, I'm gonna add a couple of marketing tasks. And oh, and Anne, I'm just gonna mute you for the time being and then you can always unmute. Uh, when you have something, um, post on Facebook, post on Twitter, you know, I'm just, uh, you know, post on, uh, 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 send email to partner, you know, to business partner, to biz partner, um, do my bookkeeping. I'm just going to do some random tasks, um, uh, optimize my website, you know, and, uh, follow up with client. I'm just doing some random, random task here. And so um, the first thing you really should do when you come in to do is, is we'll probably do a brain dump, okay? Do a brain dump and you could probably do the brain dump in the inbox. So what's the difference between inbox and today? Pop quiz, anybody know? All right, this is probably too hard a question right now. Inbox is everything that isn't in a project. Inbox is the uncategorized items because once you put something in a project, it's categorized in a project, right? So inbox is uncategorized, unprojected items. Today is just simply either projected or unpro all objects, all items that have today's due date. That's what today means. And next seven days is all objects, all items that have a due date in the next seven days, okay? So that's, that's all, that's all these, these three boxes mean. So if you put something in the inbox, here I am in the inbox, I can either add a task down here or I can add a task up here. It's really the same, the same, the same thing, just two, two different places. But uh, if you like putting something at the bottom of a list, you know, if that makes it feel better for you, then, then put it down here. And you could say, um, you know, uh, 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 prepare for online course. Okay, and notice if I put something in the inbox, there is no due date, right? Because it's it just in the inbox. There's no project associated. There's no due date, and the, and then that that's dangerous. It's dangerous because it can easily get lost in this long list of uncategorized, undue dated items. Like I think everything should either have a project or a due date or both because otherwise it's very dangerous and it's no man's land. It's like just floating out there in the, in the universe. Okay, so when you come into Todoist, the first thing you should do is to do a brain dump, probably in the today. So at least, you know, once tomorrow rolls around, all these items will be called overdue. And it, you'll, you'll, so the today folder will have everything that's due today and that's everything that's overdue also. You'll see all the over, so for, I'll give you an example. If this item, if I put this item yesterday and the today if i was let's go back in time one day and i put this in the today folder uh yesterday okay i see now um okay and that's one one little quirk about to doist sometimes when you mess around a little too much you might have to refresh the browser um so i'm just going to refresh real quick here and the today folder what happened Oh, you know what I just did? No, that, that's not to do his fault. You know what I, it, 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 it didn't, when I put August 28th, it said, you don't possibly mean you're going to overdo yourself on something. You meant August 28th of next year or this coming year, didn't you? So when I put August 28th, ah, August 28th, 2020, that's what I thought I meant when I put August 28th. So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna make it super clear and go, no, no, this was, this was yesterday. 
yesterday. Okay, now when I go to, to there you go, I go to today folder, this is what it's gonna look like. It's gonna give you a list of overdue items and then it's gonna give you a list of today items. Okay, so, um, so first thing to do to do is do a brain dump in the today folder. Second thing to do is to put your projects in. So projects are, for example, I'm gonna do very simple projects because that's, yeah, just, just for the sake of time. So marketing, okay, marketing is a project. Don't worry about adding to favorites. Don't worry about project color for now, although you could make it colorful if you want, because each project can have its own color so that all the tasks within the project has that color. So we'll just, we'll, we'll play with that. So let's say marketing is teal. Okay, click add. Great. Okay, so now I have the marketing project. Uh, where is the marketing project? Ah, now it shows up here. I'm going to click on this and I'm going to do uh, admin. Admin is uh, going to be, uh, what, what color am I going to do admin? Admin is going to be um, top A, whatever that means. <laughs> click at top, 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 whatever. Okay, and then uh, click on this is clients, client work, client work, okay? Client work, yay, super exciting. I'm gonna do magenta, okay? So three very different colors. And to do is put a welcome project in there just to kind of help you onboard, help you use the software. If you go, if you go to the welcome project, welcome to do is let you get started with a few tips. What, where are the tips? And maybe you already got rid of them, I don't know. I don't know where the tips are. Because this is, oh. I clicked on the comments, save time. Oh, okay, you haven't, comments and file uploads are premium features. Oh, okay, right. I actually use comments all the time. So um, unfortunately, we, we were not able to dem demo that here because this is a free account. Um, but I do use comments a lot. I, comments is where I put the next steps for a particular task, okay? So for example, um, let me, let me see if I could show you something on my screen. Uh, let me just, um, yeah, you know, there's nothing too embarrassing on my screen. So I'll, I'll show you my own to-do list real quick. Okay, so basically, this is today, um, 7.30 a.m. So you can actually put a, a, a time, today at 7.30 a.m., enter, okay? And then that, that will show up. And the reason why it's red is because it's overdue because it's, it's past 7.30 a.m. And I did send a launch email at 7.30 a.m., but I forgot to let Buddy out. <laughs> I've, been, I've been trying to get into a, a rhythm with my wife where, because I usually walk him at 10 a.m. And she's like, what, you haven't let him out since last night? I'm like, well, I just don't want him to start getting into the habit of bothering me too early. So it's like, but he's been holding it in. Well, I don't know, he hasn't rung the bell. We have a little bell for Buddy. He actually rings the bell when he needs to go. And he, He's just all quiet all morning. So I, I'm trying to get into a habit of letting him out and I've kind of ignored that this morning. Uh, <laughs> so, um, so basically uh, the comments is where I put the sort of the details. Most productive business, I'm just kind of reminding myself of what those are. And you know, it's like um, courses, improving master heart. Uh, so you can see you all are important. That's one of my most productive business activities, improving things for you guys. Um, let's see here. Uh, so it's like MH tapering from free to paid. Like, what do I mean by that? So it's like, I, I write notes in here for like posts I want to write. Um, let me see if I can iterate on a new vision. What does that mean? Um, okay. Uh, I don't know if I can soak rice. Um, so, you know, I have personal items in here too, right? Um, so let me go back to, uh, like, let me, let, me, let me start a task and I'll show you. So if I wanted to do a task and I go reach out to client okay the problem with a lot of us is that we look at a task and we get frozen because it's too scary for us to do but nothing is scary when you do baby steps so reaching out to the client is is scary for me and i feel that already right then i will add a add a comment to say the next step to reach out to a client is to what is a baby step that feels really good to me that feels like oh that's not scary for me so what's not scary for me is to open email draft, okay, and, and write three things that I might want to say when I reach out 
to the client. That's not scary, right? And maybe what also soothes me is to say, well, I'm really scared after I read the three things. So it's like send draft to friend, coach. And I might, I might be specific about a specific person, you know, Bob, um, to see what he thinks. He thinks, am I crazy? You know, and then after that, it's like after Bob writes back, um, then uh, edit the draft, then send to client. You see, so I soothe myself. This is really, really important productivity skill. You have to learn to soothe yourself. The, the, the truth, you can do anything in the world that you set your mind to, that you commit to. You can, you can literally go to the moon. You could say, okay, I'm gonna add, add, and then once I do this, okay, immediately click on, make me, check the date, make sure that it doesn't, it's not in a no man's land. Check that it's, you know, it's today or in a particular date that I'm not gonna forget about it. I may want to set a project, okay, to say whatever, it's not the right project, but once I set a project, it automatically puts that in to say, you, you want that, right? And I click add task. Okay, so now it's, now it's in there, all right? Um, but you can literally, you know, go to moon, you could do anything you want in the entire world. You just have to, to take baby steps at it. Well, how the hell do I go to the moon? Well, the first thing I gotta do is probably uh, Google search how to build rocket, okay? And then after that, Google search how to get funding to build rocket, right? Like you can do anything you want to do with Todoist and with Google. <laughs> Okay, and then, you know, but I'm, I'm being facetious here, but you, the reason why so many of us don't move forward is because we don't define baby steps and then we don't set a due date, okay? And it's like, go to the moon. When I say go to the moon August 29th, I don't literally mean I'm gonna go to the moon. I just mean I'm gonna work on the next thing. So I go to the comments, go, yep, I've already Googled how to build a rocket. Now I, I can delete that. Now I'm gonna Google how to fund the rocket. Click update, I'm gonna do that next, okay? So um, that's one way to, 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 to do uh, baby steps in Todoist is just to put it in the comments. I think that's the easiest way. But another way of doing baby steps in Todoist is to keep adding. So, um, uh, you know, go to moon. Okay, go to moon. The next baby step is Google uh, how to reach out to Elon Musk. Okay. Okay. Um, and then next step after that is draft letter to Elon. After that, I might want to ask friends if I am crazy or any ideas to go to moon. Okay. And, and basically once I have these sub steps, I can click and drag this, these, uh, not six dots. I can click and drag it. Um, wait, can I? Oh, you know what? The reason why I can't click and drag these things is I'm in the today folder. Today folder has certain restrictions. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select one, I'm gonna select these items and put them into a project, okay? But first I have to create the project. The project is, um, click on plus project moonshot, okay? And charcoal, that's the color of the moon, I think. Click add. Okay, now moonshot has nothing in here, so I'm gonna move the stuff that I just brainstormed. Uh, and I'm gonna do it by holding down the, the um, com uh, holding down the command key on my keyboard, hold down command on the windows, it's control, and click, command click, command click. Okay, I'm gonna move these items. I've selected these items, they're yellow now, and I'm gonna click move to project up here. Okay, move to project, moonshot. Okay, so now they're in moonshot, and I'm gonna go into moonshot, because remember, today it has certain restrictions. So I'm gonna go into moonshot, and now I can organize it this way. I'm gonna click and drag and I'm gonna move it uh, nested underneath this one. But, but let's say for whatever reason, this was, this, was, um, this was here, okay? But these, I'm just gonna organize for you, okay? So I'm gonna go uh, drag this under here, go to moon. I'm gonna drag this one under here. Okay, you can, you can then nest things under, under other things. Okay, so um, first, first I'm gonna ask friends if I'm crazy. And maybe uh, I'm gonna draft a letter to Elon Musk first, and then I'm gonna ask, I'm gonna Google how to reach out to him, okay? So then you can collapse these items or you can uh, collapse all of it. Does that make sense? Not if that makes sense. And then, guess what? 
if I finish all these items, if I already, if I already Googled this and I drafted the letter, if I click on this item, this will, this will also complete all the items underneath it. Okay. If I click on this top, see, if I, if I uncompleted this one, um, it says, well, maybe you didn't draft the letter yet, but maybe you, you did already do that. Anyway, you just have to be careful when you click on the top item, it does complete everything Four tasks completed. So let me see, are there any questions before I move on? Um, uh, so, uh, George, yeah. I, have a, I have a question. Yeah, yes, go ahead. So, the, <clears throat> excuse me, the comments were in the premium. So I saw that, but what was the other thing that was in the premium? Attachments, Just, files. Attachments, okay. Yeah. So you could, you could basically um, design website, right? And in, in, uh, to attach something, you have to do, you have to go into the comments. So that's part of it. You have to go into the comments to be able to attach. You can attach anything. You can attach from even from Google Drive, okay? If I click on Google Drive, it'll ask me if I, if I want to um, allow Todoist to use Google Drive and then it'll find my Google Drive files. So, you, or you can just drag and drop uh, a computer file onto here. And you, okay. can even, you can even attach a voice memo. So I can say, start recording, uh, allow. So I'm going to design a website. Okay, and then I could, I could uh, play it or attach. I don't know if you can hear, I don't think I shared my computer audio, so I don't think you could hear that, but I can yeah. attach it. So I could uh, you know, write notes to myself. I can also even attach smiley faces. Um, Click add comment. So be sure to add a comment after you attach something. Then, um, yeah. What do you think the greatest um, reason would be to use uh, to pay for the premium versus just the free account? Based on your, um, I think it just removes restrictions so that you don't have to be annoyed by the restrictions. Mm -hmm. I think honestly, and the, the, I think the premium is only to do is is I think pretty affordable. Um, I think it's like three three dollars a month. I believe, I think it's, yeah, $3 a month. That's, okay. that's, that's the one I'm on. It, mm -hmm. Annually it's $36 or whatever. Yeah. I think it's really worth it. It's, it's yeah. well, cause if you use it all the time, it's totally worth it. Okay. So um, yeah. And, and, and anything else, what, what else would make you feel like, Oh my God, I'm really set up now. I can, I can use this. Well, it looks like you can do um, the projects, but if you stay with um, the free one, you would use, um, like subcategories under the projects for your comments. Is that right? So there are, there are comments, there are sub tasks, and then there are sub projects. Okay. You can nest projects within projects. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And um, when you're sorting by a project, when you go into a project, okay, these are my video ideas. When you go into a project, it's going to be randomly sorted. Okay. So you can click on the three dots at the top right of a project. And you can sort by date, okay? Or you can, so now I'm sorting the project by date. You can also sort the project by priority. We haven't even talked about priority. And I should talk about priority here. Priority is basically, the way I think about priority is that uh, red is, okay, pri pri priority in Todoist goes like this. There's red, orange, blue, and white. And in, in that order of priority. And for me, red means something I should look at in the morning. Okay. <laughs> I have to remind myself in relationship to my wife, I'm not the one who knows all the right answers. <laughs> Absolute truth is a mosaic of relative truths. So I even have relationship reminders in my to-do list or like life reminders, like, Hey, don't, don't be so judgmental for other people. You know, it's like, Oh yeah, that's a good, good point. Um, so uh, so red is basically remind myself first thing in the morning, like, you know, these are reminders throughout the day, basically, you know, and once I'm done, I would click on, click on this to, to complete it. Uh, and then orange is like, okay, during my work day. And then, um, blue is like either personal items or end of my work day. And then, and then basically, uh, the white items are really optional for the day. I don't really have to do it if I don't want to. So that's, that's what I'm, that's what I'm up to. And things that are really timer, like I really, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of ignoring this right now. I really shouldn't ignore it, but uh, I'm not perfect either following my, my to-do list. Okay, Eddie asked a great question, labels. I ignore labels. I don't use labels. I think labels are, are, are labels are like another, another axis 
Okay, if, if project, if task is one axis, projects another axis, labels is like a third dimensional axis. It's like another way to create, it's like another, it's like another type of project is, is what a label is. And so I think labels are super confusing. I don't use labels at all. But labels, so I, here's what I would really recommend. Like I said, to-do list can be as simple or as complicated as you make it. I keep it, I've used to-do list now for more than five years, I think now, like every single day, or maybe three years, whatever it is. I have learned to keep it simple because then it makes it fast for me, like fast for my, my brain and how I, how I work with it. So I think you should let go of labels unless you have a compelling reason why you really should use it. Okay, so for example, yeah, I'm not gonna even go into there. Filters though can be useful. Filters allow you to, um, to create things that are, for example, easily, these are all filters. These are all favorites and filters, um, I think. So videos, ideas coming up. This is a filter where I said, give me, let me I'll show you. Um, oh, hide from favorites. Oh, these are all favorites. Favorites are basically projects or filters that will show up above the, above the projects, uh, 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 you know, above the projects listings. But let me show you what, what my filters are. Okay, so I don't use, I have to clean up my filters also. So this filter is give me, the filter query is give me within the 14 days things that have my video ideas is, is literally looks like that. So uh, if you click on edit filter, you will get an entire article on how to use filters and what, you know, what kinds of things you can do with filters. Filters are really cool, but that's more of an advanced feature of Todoist. So I would say if you're learning Todoist right now, forget filters, just work with tasks, due dates, projects, and maybe uh, like I showed you, uh, nesting tasks within tasks or using comments to tell you what the next steps are. Okay. All right, let's talk about any other questions. Uh, um, let's see, I think Liesl had a question about, I have set up projects. Okay, I've set up projects that correspond with the categories in my calendar. My trouble is when I, st I stare at everything in it and I can't decide what to put into my calendar first. I get frozen when I need to make the decisions. It's not a doist problem, but maybe some, some insights might be helpful. Okay, so what I like about what Liesl's doing is that Liesl is putting her projects into her calendar. Okay, and that's what you're gonna see in my calendar too. Sorry for, the, for all the clutter in my calendar. I'm just gonna to try to make things a little bit simpler here. So for example, look at this. Optimize, optimization at 12.30 p.m. to 1 p.m. So what does that mean? Okay, literally, this is what I'm gonna to do today. When I see that, when it comes 12.30 p.m., here's what George Cow is going to do. He looks at his calendar. Oh, it says optimization. George Cow goes into Todoist, he clicks on the optimization project, and he sorts by date to see what I've thought is the most important thing. And I, I do have items put for today. So now, now Liesl, here's, here's maybe what is helpful. Tell me if this is helpful. I look at what I said I would do today, and I do whatever I feel like doing. I do whatever I feel like doing in the context of what my calendar told me is the project I should be working on. I don't do like, oh, I feel like surfing Netflix. Oh, I feel like going to Facebook and posting this because I'm really inspired right now to do a Facebook Live. No, I do the optimization project. By God, I'm going to do this. That's the strictness of me. But here's a leniency. Oh, within optimization are lots of options. I'll do whatever I want to. What do I feel like doing right now? I don't feel like checking the comp call schedule. I don't feel like integrating the audience survey. Ooh, I want to gather stories from hashtag celebration and Masterheart. That'll be fun. I'll do that. So is that helpful, Liesl? Is that do what's fun, but within the project that you said you would work on in your calendar, okay? Mm -hmm. I think, thanks, George. That's very helpful. And I think the first thing that came to mind is I haven't categorized all my items in to-do list. Uh, very and so therefore I was like, uh, oh, there's this big list in just the inbox. Yes. Uh, what to do. So yes. I've got a clue now. Thanks. You're, you're welcome. Yeah, it's great. And Ilsa says, well, well, now what if you don't do it? What happens with, with the item? So if I decide to skip the integrate audience survey, you know, afterwards notice, oh, another thing I didn't talk about that to do is so useful for is recurring tasks. 
things that will keep coming up on a weekly basis or a monthly basis or whatever. So for example, this recurring task, this is every Thursday, remind me about this task. Or I could do every other Thursday, right? Or I could do every, uh, third Thursdays of each month. Third Thursdays is all I need to say. Or I could do every, and by the way, to do is smart enough to where EV means every, every other month, you know? And, and another really, really smart thing to do is I should talk about this before we end is you can do every, okay, exclamation mark every um, 10 days, let's say. So what that means, okay, is that if I complete the item, then postpone it for another 10 days. But if I don't complete the item, um, yeah, basically, it's like every time I complete the item, it postpones it for every, every 10 days. Uh, let me, that's probably not a very clear example, but just so you know, every versus every, yeah, I, actually, I'm, I'm getting a little brain freeze here. I, I'm not sure I'm explaining this properly, so I'm gonna skip, skip talking about this. Um, but what you can do is you can right click, which on the Mac, it's control click. You can right click on any item and you can, um, you can postpone it. So this arrow, this arrow means to postpone. And it means to postpone it to the next recurring time. You can't postpone something that doesn't have a recurring item. So if I, so if I, if I, if I, if I postpone something that doesn't have a recurring item, I'm just gonna go to a random item. If I postpone something that doesn't have a due date, I can't postpone it. It'll just tell it, it'll just put it to tomorrow, okay? So postponing items is really useful things. Like I don't feel like doing this today, so I'm gonna postpone it to next Thursday. So there you go, and now it's gonna be next Thursday instead of today, so. Um, any other questions before we finish? Are you feeling, those of you, uh, Anne or anybody else who's like, are you, watching my screen is probably really complicated, unfortunately, but, um, but uh, are you feeling a little bit better about Todoist? Are you feeling like you could set it up or you know what the next steps are? I do. I do personally. Okay. I feel like I need to go back and watch the video again. But okay. and I had done some of that, but I knew there was more depth to it than what yes. I was already doing. Yeah. Good. Good. So, yeah. And I think Ben had a question earlier, but I think I missed it. Um, ben, do you? No, want... I hey. I can wait until Monday. It's okay. Oh, I'm sorry. You, you, no. you can. No, it's it's not a question. It's uh, something I want to share, but it can wait until our next conversation. Oh, it's good. Okay. okay, great. Sounds good. Anyone else have anything before we finish the to do list tutorial? Feeling, uh, are you feeling like you could, you could work with it? So if you have any questions, just email me and um, I could try to answer it without the benefit of having, having the screen. Um, but you know, really, I think what needs to happen next is for you to actually play with it and really play with it. You know, put silly tasks in there um, and you know, see, you know, and or put serious ones in there. But you know, the things to do is put in your tasks, uh, categorize those tasks into projects, and then for the really important ones, put a due date. That's really the three steps. Um, and and that I, what I just said, I think, is there's a nuance here, which is not every task needs a due date. Repeat after me: not every task needs a due date because then you get overwhelmed. But every task should have a project. Otherwise, what's the point? Why, why are you having an idea that's not related to something important to you? That's really the question. If you have an idea and it's not related to something important to you, you should probably delete the idea. You got it? If it cannot be put into a project that's important to you, you should not have the idea because you have enough to do in your life. Okay? And every, and, and things that are like, not, not like a due date deadline. I, I, I make the mistake sometimes and I'm trying to correct myself. I put too many due dates on things. I need to undate things, but still have it in the project so that when it comes time to do the project and I have nothing on the today, beautiful. If I have nothing, if, I, if it comes optimization and nothing says today, well then I can really play with optimization. I can really play with that project. Well, I could do anything on this long list. I'll find something that's really fun for me to do or energizing or important. So, okay, um, in terms of whether, um, I didn't talk about the mobile phone, Todoist is perfectly synced between your 
computer and your mobile phone, it's always synced. If, if for whatever reason you don't think it's synced, you can, sometimes I do this once or twice a day, I will refresh my Todoist browser to make sure that you know, I'm looking at the most current stuff. Um, but I use Todoist all the time on my phone to capture ideas. Um, I, whenever I capture ideas, I always capture it in the today folder. So yes, ideas always start with a due date so that I don't miss it because, because at the end of each day, I will go into my today folder. Okay, so for example, um, uh, I, let's say I'm on my, on my mobile phone, I'm capturing ideas. Idea one, okay, today folder. Idea two, to, it's all in the today folder so that by the end of my day, I will make sure my today folder is empty. That's really a super important thing. Write down your tasks in the today folder. Step two, categorize them into the project. So idea one will be, uh, idea one is hashtag is, is the project, okay? Hashtag moonshot, okay? Okay, now it's categorized as moonshot. Idea two is related to uh, video, uh, is related to, um, is related to optimization, hashtag optimization. And then click on that, press enter. Okay, so step one, tasks, step two, uh, hashtag projects or projects basically hashtag is a shortcut to start a project uh, and then step three is to clear what was that what did I say step three was put a due date uh, if it's if it's needed if it's important otherwise undate it okay and and step four is to clear clear your today folder every single day postpone items undate items okay to undate an item you just get you just literally click on the date and, and press delete so that's empty and then press enter twice and now I've undated that item, but it's still in my moonshot, right? It's my moonshot thing. Okay, I think that's it. I've gone over, and uh, so thanks so much for, um, for joining me for this, and I look forward to your Todoist adventures. Okay, all right, everyone. Bye for now.